and welcome back to Bourbon Barrel Talk. I'm your host, Scott Minton. Today's episode of Bourbon Barrel Talk is brought to you by Chevalier Cask. If you're in need of bulk spirits, new oak, or used barrels, then Chevalier Cask is here to help. We also have access to whatever type of spirits that you need. Our American, Spanish, European, and French oak barrels are handcrafted by multi-generational family-owned cooperages in Europe. These barrels are of the highest quality. They are tight and made from wood seasoned for over 24 months. We can also help you find financing for all your full or empty barrel needs. We can also buy your freshly dumped barrels and help you find them a new home. You can find us at www.chevaliercask.com. Dot com. And we are back in the Brock Bourbon Bar, and we're going to try some Down Home. Oh, okay. I, I, I think you should have done Sweet Home. <laughs> no. Then, then, Sweet Home Alabama? Then you could have done, yeah, it would have been like the, the, the rift of whiskey right there, buddy. You could have just been like, Sweet Home. Now, there's then it could so have been many like lawsuits Kentuckiana in that one or something like that. I don't even funny. know. Why is there a lawsuit? That just everybody will be like, Scott, cease and desist. You're using our X, Y, and Z. Oh, whatever. Oh, not really. Yeah. yeah you, got so many, you got so many seconds before they can even send you a cease and desist. Trust me. I know. <laughs> it's, it's like 30 seconds. You can that's that's you it's actually su- not. It's, like, you know it's less than 10. You are. You're like, hey, man, how many times have you been sued? Seven. Yeah. Oh, you must be really popular. I'm like, no. I just <laughs> really bad. <laughs> really bad at what I do. Anyway, we're having the Down Home Armagnac, which this was a recent, what, LBC pick? Yes, it was a recent LBC pick. What's the proof on this bad boy? Uh, proof is 97. 97- 7.2. And, and 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 we got Nick, Barbara, unfortunately, and Matt on the podcast. What's up, Matt? Hey, what's up? <laughs> Welcome back, Matt. Hey. It's been a while. Barbara, hey. Barbara, we're glad to have you back. Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> he never says that about me, so don't worry about it. That's right. Nobody ever says we're happy to have Matt back. Hey, they always pick on me. I'm used to it, so whatever. <laughs> so, all right. So this is the Armin, Armagnac Armin. finished. Armagnac. Well, yeah, Ar- Armagnac finished, and it is also a weeder or okay. weeded-based Damn. bourbon. Weeder. Weeter, not weeder. Yeah. Weeter. So can you, Scott, for those of us who don't know at home, because we haven't done enough Armagnac finished barrels in our lifetime, can you tell them why the Armagnac is so sought after and so popular these days that everybody wants to do every kind of finish with it? Um, I mean, in my humble opinion. Yeah, is please. I really now, care about your you, humble you, opinion you, in every way, shape, and form. <laughs> You will give us the the, the Matt Jasnoff, no, 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 which is probably no, no, no. the correct answer. No, 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 no. But in my humble opinion, it's because Armagnac is a desirable like brandy slash cognac product, and it's also very expensive. So therefore, when you get something that's a high quality, expensive, or more reputably known product, and you want to finish whiskey in it, that's just my humble opinion. What, what's your? I really about? appreciate your humble opinion. And what's yours? Oh, it's just like <laughs> you know, no big deal. It's fine. <laughs> My, you He's know, like, oh, it, it, just what Scott said. Tell you what. <laughs> yeah, uh, right. Just what Scott said. I'll give you a little bit of my opinion. I think it they, the tannins that Armagnac can bring to a finish of a bourbon, a rye, and some of those really do meld well with it. I, I do too. I, I I think they hold up really really well against some of those. You know, I, I actually prefer them typically with rye. So I'm kind of anxious to see how it uh, is married with a, a weeded bourbon. I will tell you right off the bat, the nose on this thing is super, super sweet. sweet. So, and it's spicy, too. Yeah, see, I get a whole lot of spicy yeah. in it. Like, I think your sweet comes from the weeded mash bill, and the right. spice comes from the barrel. But I also think... All right, sweet, <laughs> very, very... It does have some spice, but it's baking yeah. spice. It's yeah. not like baking spice. Yeah, it's not like crazy, weird, like hot spice. It's almost like there's like a meld of like light red fruit and maybe a little bit... Uh, I, I hate using the term stone fruit, but mm. just kind of like a meld of those... Uh, on the nose. Yeah. We, we we know Jared loves the word stone fruit. I know. We miss Jared. Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Said no one ever. So that's a really interesting combination of the yeah. weeded whiskey with the spiciness of the barrel. Right? And the barrel shouldn't be too spicy, but... Oh, no, but that's delicious. That, yeah. I'm like... Mm. I'm trying to decide... Well, what the low proof is. always gives you a big flavor bomb. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 he said they were entry proofed at 105, which is really, really low proof, so... You don't get that anymore. No, and it's barrel strength too. I mean, so. the only distillery that does that low of entry proof these days is Mictors. Mictors. Yeah, so it's really really hard to distinguish that, that lower entry proof. Yeah, I heard there was a couple of folks that were doing super low proofs, but not quite that low. Um, that was doing their uh, distillate out of uh, what's the place where Bullet's doing their stuff out in Shively. They're not there anymore, but we're. They were originally doing it. Was it the old Stitzel Weller plant out there in Shively? A Blade and Bow? 
not Blade and Bowl. No. It's like a like a newer upcoming brand. Like oh. they haven't even released any of their whiskey yet. But I could have swore I read something about those guys. As a matter of fact, I think you and I met him one time um, at the Agave and Rye. I'm not going to say his name on here because I don't know if he wants his name on here yet because the oh, brand hasn't come fair. out yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's we, fair. Remember we drank yeah. like an entire pitcher of those weird like spicy margaritas oh, or whatever? so bad. It was so bad. But anyway. <laughs> um, Who thought that was a good idea? You uh-huh. did. You were the one that ordered it. I know. <laughs> um, anyway. Stop, stop doing edibles in the I parking think, lot. <laughs> for real. I, I think that's what it is, though. I think it's <clears> like, <throat> I think he said that they were doing extremely low uh, entry proof, too. But I think it's like less than 110 or 110-ish. Anyway, very sweet. A um, little bit of stone fruit, like you said. I get a whole lot. I see, and I get a lot more of the spice. No, oh, the spice lot, is present. Yeah it's, oh, yeah, it's there, but I mean. See, it's, pre- it's prevalent for so, me. So the funny thing is, though, differentiate it. Like, outside of clove, I can't <laughs> mm-hmm. really taste a, a, a spice that I can actually pull the flavor note off of. Like, there's no cinnamon there to me. There's no cinnamon, no. There I don't wasn't really any get a cinnamon. cardamom there's, or anything. Like, clove is literally the only thing I'm getting off my palate. It's almost like a ginger. It's like a clove ginger mix. So the more you drink it... <laughs> me and Nick are both looking at each other. The I know, mo- y'all very rarely agree The more you me, drink so it, the more you. the wheat comes through. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. The more it kind of opens up a little bit. <gasps> it's got that nice field grass, like, open mm. field, like, sweet flavor to it. Now, you I know? get that more... I've I put a couple of drops of water in, and yep. I get that now. I'm getting that. Oh, sure. Just turn it right while it's on the wooden table. Yeah, we love I that. will. <laughs> What's the proof on that thing? What oh, are it's, you, uh, Tim? Oh, it's 104.2. Yeah, I'll start calling him Tim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's actually, the proof is 97. Oh, my yeah, God. It's really low. low. It's really low. But He's really low. So do, really we, low. do we know how old of an Armagnac barrel this was before it went into it? Uh, I, I have not asked Robert that question. Or do we know if it's like a first fill, second fill? I'm assuming it's first fill. I mean, this is the first one I've seen him release that, right. was, that was something that's finished other than Double Oak or... or uh, toasted. Or the Toasted, yeah. Yeah. Have you seen any other finishes from him? I mean, I mean he's done a ton of finishes Oh, wait a minute. He did do a VDN not that long ago. Mm. So I think this might only be the second like finish that's an actual wine barrel that, uh, that we're they're aware of. Now the interesting thing, brandy, that, you know that that you know for our listeners is that the sweetness isn't coming from like you know a honey or like a heavy sugar. You can tell it's a a fruit sweetness, not a sugar honey uh, brown sugar style uh, sweetness. And I, I really enjoy that aspect. Hmm. I, I'm I'm putting water in against my better judgment because it's so low. proof. I know it's so low proof, but I am. I am dying to know what you get out of it after you get the water. I'm not going to say anything as of yet. Mint. I'm just kidding. Nicholas. <laughs> I mean, listen, it is a weeder. I mean, it's a good possibility we're going to get a heavy mint off this bad no. boy. Yeah. No <laughs> greens, mint. Absolutely. It's wheat. No. <laughs> He's just going to say it. So, 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 the, so the nose is honeysuckle. Yeah. Yeah. The, the field it's greens floral, honeysuckle came in. Yep. And then the stone fruit's kind of gone, though, off the nose. All right. Going in for a pull. I will say this, though. <laughs> Oh, wow. Before I talk. Wow. Redirect. Wow. <laughs> Redirect. The, the legs on this thing is crazy. Absolutely. I know. They're For it being ridiculous. such low proof and such low entry proof, the, fact, are the sheer re- amount of legs that's on this thing is crazy. Yeah. It is super light, though. It's almost like a light whiskey. If I didn't know any better, that's what I would assumed it was. Yeah. But the legs just keep going. I mean, it's lost a lot of sweetness. It has. Yeah. Yeah. It's went, it's went to more on the spice side. Now, see, now I can say where you're picking up different spices. Like, you get a little bit of that. And there's almost like a white pepper. It's like a really, really mild white pepper with a drop of that. Um, but yeah, it's just all baking spice. It's like clove, cardamom, ginger. There's a little ginger now. It, it barely makes it halfway through the mid-palate before yeah. it just dies off. Yeah. Yeah, and the finish is gone. <laughs> and here's where I'm crazy. Yeah. All right. I'm, oh, wait. This I'm, is the part? <laughs> You're the complete opposite now? I am the complete opposite. I'm getting all that floral, f- field green, all of that. I mean, we got that too. We just said it's a lot of baking spice. But I'm too. not getting any of the baking spices now. I really? did beforehand, and now I'm not. Like I wasn't getting any. Did you of give that her f- gummies in the parking lot? Man? <laughs> I wasn't getting any, any of the field greens or floral at the first part without the water. Well, I didn't now either. with the water, we, we we didn't either. We got it a little on the nose, but nothing on well, the palate. What it, but see, I wasn't even getting it on the nose. Oh. None of that All anywhere. Right. Okay. All Fair. I'm getting is sweet and floral. Sweet and floral. Yeah. Hmm. There we go. I know. I'm an oddball. All right. I, I, I'm neat on this. Where y'all at? Neat. I mean, I, ironically enough, I do prefer it neat, but it's just kind of bizarre for me. So 
of the Armagnacs that you've had, where would you rank this one? So, if, what, if, you're, if you're talking Armagnac finish, I'd probably say this would be probably two or three. Two or three? Yeah. I, I'm going to say it's probably in my top five easily. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I've had some Starlight. I've had some good times. Yeah, I'd agree. I've had a uh, couple others. Um, this is definitely in my in my top five. So. But it has to be neat. Has to be neat for sure. It has Absolutely. to be neat yeah. for sure. But I will tell you, would legs. you consider this like a chuggable bottle, right? Like something that you? Could... Oh yeah, but it's just so low proof, though. Yeah. Right, but like if you were outside, for example, and you had this bottle, could you feel comfortable pouring it drink over drink over drink over drink? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think I think it's one of those ones where you could get a cigar and you could definitely just sit down by the fire and just kind of just kill a bottle. This is killable for sure. It's cr- okay. I think somebody uses the word crushable, and I can't remember who it is. Is it you, Nick, that uses the word crushable? No, I no. think that's Jared. I think it's Jared. Jared. Okay. I think it's Jared. But I can crush this. So right there, there's like a lot of <laughs> bottles that are good that we drink. Yeah. But there's not a lot of them that I could have three, four, five, six. I mean, Pours I'm sleeping in my backyard. Time. Who cares? <laughs> <It Yeah. will>. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, but I think this is yeah. definitely something that you could drink, you know, four or five glasses of and not really think too much about it. Yeah. So. I mean, there's a lot of times where you're sitting out back with a buddy of yours and next thing you know a right? bottle's half gone yeah or three quarters of the way gone yeah but there's a lot of times where you have a bottle and you're just like oh, i can really only tolerate <laughs> chris can't i don't think chris computes what we're saying when we say we <laughs> killed a half or three quarters of a bottle between you and your buddy no i don't think he does <laughs> just not, wait a little bit can't relate with that one okay that's all right good yeah all right, <laughs> all right. anyway back to uh this episode of burn barrel talk brought to you <laughs> down home whiskey <laughs> anyway uh so yeah, I definitely think this is a really solid pour. So Robert, kudos to you. Good job. Uh, yeah, good job plus to, on that. Good job to the LBC folks for uh, you know hand selecting this one. I'm assuming they had a few that they got to choose from. So this is a solid pour there. So I'd absolutely agree. good deal. Well, if you want to find Bourbon Real Talk, you can find us on Facebook, the Instagram, or the X. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. That way you get our episodes as soon as they hit the market, whether it's on Spotify, iTunes, or Google Podcast. Uh, make sure you send us any messages either via Facebook or you can email us at bourbonbrilltalk at gmail.com. This is Scott, Nick, Barbara, and DJ Jazzy Jazznoff signing off in the Brock Bourbon Bar. Peace. Peace Prost. out.